Hey there. Today I'm going to talk about causal slider using Figma variables and conditions. And here I have an example. So in causal slider, I have used the nav. So clicking on that, it will go to the next slide. So here UX design, then UI design, and then usability. So now again, if I click on this, it will display UI design and the UX design. So let's start creating slider. So we'll take one frame here. And for creating a slider, we need a rectangle here. So I have taken one rectangle and we can give color to rectangle. Then we need a text. So it will say like UX design or either if you want to use image you can use the image instead so align properly now next just group this and say slide one and the same we can duplicate this and here we can say instead of UX, UI design. So now select this and align. Now this will be slide two. Again, we'll duplicate this. And here we can say usability. Now this all are fine. So align and then we need bullet or nav so we'll use this ellipse and here we can use the color which is the same here we can say two now this is done we can duplicate this and the same way we can have this third one Now this bullet is ready so we can use the next ellipse for the active. So for active we'll use the ellipse and we'll give the same color. And here we can say this nav1 and we'll duplicate this and say this nav2. And again we need this so we can say this as a nav3 so this we didn't rename we can say bullet 1 and the same way for 2 we can say 2 and then 3 bullet 3 now it is ready just we'll group this for alignment it will be a good while we'll group this and this so we'll align properly now we'll going to create variables here so clicking on the variable so create variable here we need boolean and here we can use slide one which will be true and then you can say slide 2 which will be false and again we'll duplicate and say slide 3 which will be false and same we can take duplicate this say nav 1 so it will be true and then nav 2 which will be false and then nav3 which will be false so now going to pass through the layer we'll take the slide slide 1 slide 2 and this is slide 3 so slide 1 pass through here so come and pass through here slide 1 
and then fly to also the same way we can pass it and the third we can pass through the layer slide 3 next this as a nav 1 so same thing I am doing for this also nav 1 nav 2 so it will be disappear because this is a false and the third pass through nav 3 now going to give the interaction so come to prototype before that select this bullet so we are going to give interaction to this bullet and prototype interaction on click set the condition so condition will be if nav1 equal to false then we can set variable nav1 to true so else part you can say nav1 false so this is the condition when nav is the false this navigation and then the next condition I'm going to add here which will say like uh, once it is true so this nav will be false so for this we'll take the same simple condition nav1 equal to true so when nav1 equal to true nav2 will be false else nav1 so nav1 will be true again we'll add the condition for nav3 so condition when nav1 equal to true add action nav3 will be false and here we can say nav1 equal to false so it is true in that so we can make it true now this navigation part is done now the slide one so we'll add the same condition here so it will say the same thing if nav1 equal to true if nav1 equal to true then we will set the variable here slide one true and else part we can add here set variable slide one to false now same condition will repeat again for slide two and slide three so condition if nav1 equal to true then slide 1 so slide 2 slide 2 will be false and again we'll add the condition if nav1 equal to true then slide 3 will be false so we'll leave this else part here now we will copy this interaction and paste it in other nav so copy this and paste this and here also paste it now we'll see here instead of nav1 we have to make it nav2 and again this is nav1 we can say nav2 so same way we'll just update the nav 1 to 2 means we are going to replace this nav1 to nav2 so this nav2 is true then what we need to add here nav1 so nav1 will be false and again we can say here nav2 because we are writing for nav2 now the next if nav1 equal to true so we can say nav2 equal to true then nav3 false so it will be the 
same and then again we'll come here it is for slider sliding uh, so for that we can say nav1 instead nav2 and uh, slide 1 will be false so instead of slide 1 we can say slide 2 will be true and remaining uh, this slide 2 false and again another two slide which comes to the nav 2 equal to true then slide 1 will be false and the last one if nav 2 is true we can say slide 3 will be false now come to the last one here click on the interaction instead of nav 1 we can say nav 3 and nav 1 instead nav 3 so this part is done now else part also we have to set nav 3 and come to the navigation then nav 1 is true so nav 3 is true then nav 2 is false then it is fine and here also nav 3 will be false okay will be true in else part so now we'll come to the last one which is we need to make it nav 2 so nav 1 instead nav 3 and what will be false here so nav 3 is already done nav 2 is done then here we need to set nav 1 and here we can say nav 3 so next for the slide for this we can make it nav 3 and instead of 1 we can say 3 and again come to the this part where we need to change to slide 3 now remaining 2 so here nav 3 if true and instead of slide 2 so it is getting false so slide 2 is fine and the last one it is nav 1 so we can make it nav 3 and instead of 3 we need to make it nav slide 1 so we'll preview and check whatever we have done whether it is right or wrong so here this is the slide 1 slide 2 and slide 3 then again slide 2 and slide 1 so this is working fine and uh, we don't need to create the variant while it is a on-click interaction so while we have the on-click interaction we don't need to create the variant and uh, assigning the values once we don't have the like uh, on-click interaction so in that scenario we need to create a variant and we need to go to the interaction and in that interaction we need to check here the delay after delay so that will be a like on load we can assign the some millisecond and it will go automatically but in this kind of scenarios while we are clicking on that we can use the variable easily and it will be a single file so finally if we want we can select all and before that make this frame this and if you want we can create the component and it will work accordingly so using the component we can use this in a different place also so reusability will be keeping place while we are converting to the component so whatever i am creating here using the variables it is just a replacement of creating the multiple layers into the variables so here also we are using the existing one or whatever we have created in the different state 
we are passing through the layer. So this is also a way we can use this and we can get the fast prototyping. So how is the trick? Please write on the comment. Thank you. Thank you very much.